Welcome back to Fantastic Five Weekly News. I am Yuki, your moderator for tonight. For today's session, we have proudly invited four special guests with us to discuss a serious topic on Digital Sex Crime. Digital sex crime is not new. Hidden cameras capture women undressing, going to the toilet, or even in changing rooms including stores and swimming pools. These videos are posted online on pop-up pornography sites and get viral in just a split second. In 2021, more than 1,200 teenagers have fallen victim to online sex crimes in South Korea, which is an 11-fold jump from 2018. In facing such a dreadful scenario, it is a must for us to dissect the digital sex crime by studying the reason, effect, as well as the precautions to be taken in dealing with this matter. Here, let me proudly introduce our four speakers for tonight. Mr. En Ching Yang, the parent of the victim. Ms. En Jia Jun, the representative of an active member of Human Rights Watch. Ge Jia, the Minister of Education, as well as Ms. Fion, a criminal lawyer. Firstly, a question for Mr. En Ching Yang. I'm sorry to hear that your beloved one is one of the victims. Do you mind to share your opinion on the reasons of the happening of digital sex crime? Why the victims chose not to report it? What impacts have been left to them? Thanks, moderator. Greetings to all. I'm Mr. Ng Chin Yang, a father of the victim. So, now I'm going to first talk about the reasons why there are so many innocents fall into the trap of digital sex crime. Viewing from the perspective of a father, I would actually say that parents play an extremely crucial role in this matter, especially when our children are still underage. As we all know, children need love and attention from parents, and they hope to be accompanied by their parents. However, parents nowadays are busy with their own work, so am I. As a result, our children have no choice but to find someone else to substitute our place. Making friends online is not uncommon today, and it then gives those perpetrators chances to victimize our children. This is the most lamentable situation we parents certainly do not want to see. But who's negligence? Such a situation could be worse if our children lose confidence in us parents because we never pay proper attention to them. The way it exacerbates is, even if they had experienced such a traumatic event, they do not want to tell us because they believe that we are not loving and caring about them. Also, they may fear punishment from us for breaking the rules or trusting strangers online. In short, the ground of all of this is largely connected to our failure when playing our roles as a parent. Consequently, our children will be mentally and physically traumatized, lack of confidence, self-isolated, and experience so on detrimental impact. So, all I can say is, do spend some time to accompany your beloved children. Let them feel the love and affection. Thanks. Back to you, Yuki. Thank you, Mr. Ng, for giving us such a comprehensive sharing. Now, Ms. Ng, as a representative of an active member from Human Rights Watch, can you please share on the factors that led to digital sex crime? Thanks, Yuki. Good day, everyone. I'm Jajun, a representative from Human Rights Watch, an international non-governmental organization. And now I will be further explaining the reasons that lead to the prevalence of digital sex crime, especially in South Korea. First of all, the advancement of digital technology had facilitated sexual violence. In other words, while digital sex crimes are a problem all over the world, they are a particular issue in South Korea, which has one of the world's highest rates of smartphone ownership according to Pew Research Center survey conducted in 2018. As a result, South Korea's cutting-edge technology has made the country to become the global center for illegal filming and sharing of explicit images and videos. 
Digital technologies, including high-speed streaming and encrypted chat rooms, have provided new vehicles for propagating deeply embedded gender discrimination and disseminating material depicting sexual violence against women. Apart from that, while digital sex crimes are a global problem, the report published by US-based Human Rights Watch has also exposed South Korea's comparatively light punishments and lack of protection for victims of digital sex crimes, which is part of the reason. Lastly, it is due to gender inequality. In the 2021 World Economic Forum Global Gender Gap Ranking, South Korea ranked 102 out of 156 countries with the largest gap on economic participation and opportunity of any advanced economy. Gender-based violence is widespread. In a 2017 survey of 2,000 South Korean men, nearly 80% of respondents admitted to having perpetrated violence against an intimate partner. Also, the overwhelming majority of the people targeted in digital sex crimes are women, 80% in spy cam cases. All in all, the advancement of technology, like sentences and deeply rooted gender inequality, are the three main reasons that cause the prevalence of digital sex crime in South Korea. And that's all from me. Back to you, Yuki. Thank you, Ms. Ng. It is undoubtedly correct that all the factors you have mentioned just now had highly increased the happening of digital sex crime. Now, I would like to invite our respectful Minister of Education, Geja, to share on the precautions that can be taken in tackling this matter. More than important, before students to receive scientific knowledge and foster theory of reality, should make for you to education this main position. Schools should impose a zero hegos education courses in teaching place and set up special zero hegos education courses so that students can master scientific knowledge, establish correct zero consent, and develop zero morality. Email from without machine for helping people. Continue student good more spirit. To strengthen the education of students, sense of responsibility, so that they know that sales is not only personal matter, it's consequential and impact a social program. There are social sales education system for children and advance abroad. Finland officials introduce sales education into the crown from prior and successful. And it is complete for children in the UK from the age of five. School can make use of people since education feels at home. And of course, the link realize there are only change and also through role play. Sandbox schemes, visual and other means to let students impress how to grasp the method and the skill communication method of success. Management of adolescents' emotions. Thank you, our Minister of Education. Ms. Fion, as a lawyer, what are your comments on this issue? Thanks, Yuki. My name is Fion Diosui, and now I'll continue to comment on the way to tackle the digital sex crime from a legal perspective. Until recently, there are five legislative actions against sex crime by the National Assembly of South Korea by the adoption of three new acts and the amendment of two existing ones. In particular, the digital sex crime was governed under the Information and Communications Network Act and the Sexual Violence Punishment Act in Korea. According to SBS News, 92% of sexual exploitation of minors prosecutions in 2019 concluded in fines rather than prison sentences. As such, it shows that the judges often treat perpetrators with leniency. After the Andrews event, in an internal government policy coordination conference chaired over by Prime Minister Chung Sik Kun, the government confirmed several measures to abolish digital sex crime. According to the revised Act on the Protection of Children and Youth Against Sexual Offences, any person 
who purchases or is in possession of pornographic material depicting sexual exploitation be punished with a maximum three year imprisonment or fine under twenty four thousand five hundred dollars. Punishment for those who manufacture or distribute such material has also been increased from a maximum five year sentence to a maximum of seven years. The age of consent was also raised from 13 to 16, increasing the number of minors protected under statutory rap law, and those committed of those offences are no longer eligible for a fine but instead go to the prison. Although an improvement, some of these new provisions are as problematic as previous law. When comparing the Korean legislation with United States legislation, it is clear that Korean's legislation is still weaker. The United States imposed 15 to 13 years in prison for the first time sex offenders and 25 to 15 years for repeat offenders. On the other hand, the Korean government has announced that it will impose 15 years in prison for offenders who make sexually exploitative videos and 10 years for the publishers. As such, I would suggest that the Korean government should impose stronger penalties in order to effectively combat digital sex crimes. The Korean government should investigate and implement the direction of sanctions through international conventions and conferences linked to the digital sex offenders. That's all for me, Ms. Ruki, over you. Thank you, Ms. Fion, for your explanation and recommendation. And also, I want to express my utmost gratitude to all of the speakers for willing to spend the time and attend our show tonight. It is a time to put a full stop in digital sex crime. Together, let us protect our beloved one and spread the awareness in order to create a peaceful and harmony society. I suppose we have come to the end of our show tonight. See you next week with me, Yuki, in Fantastic 5 Weekly News.